Hi guys, it's actually, it's Allie from Indiana. It is January 21st, 2020. Still getting used to saying that. And I wanted to hop on here and start filming my weight loss journey. I am very excited to be starting this journey. I am in the very beginning stages, however. I just started a new job at a hospital and my insurance doesn't take effect until this February 1st. So I wanted to get the ball rolling, however, and find out what it's gonna take to get this thing started. This is not something that I'm taking lightly. It's something that my best friend just did in October and she's had great results so far but it is something that I have considered for several years. I just haven't, you know, thought that it was the right thing for me until now. So I'm gonna start by telling you all a little bit about my history and, you know, kind of what led to me making this decision. Um, ultimately, when I was in my 20s, I started struggling with my weight. I had my son and, you know, things went downhill from there. I struggled with infertility with him. I was on all kinds of medications and finally got pregnant with him, but found out that I have polycystic ovaries, PCOS. And, you know, that caused a lot of hormonal imbalances. And with that comes unfortunately weight gain and um, you know since ever since then I st have struggled with my weight. I am 40 now and the hormones are unfortunately ever changing again and you know will be for the rest of my life so they say. So um, that being said I was in an unhappy marriage and used food as kind of my escape, I guess, if you will. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that also. And, you know, never really thought anything of it and, you know, was happy with the way I was and, um, but I, you know, never got to be above 230, 245. I guess I should say my weight now is 248 and that, and I'm 411, five feet on a good day. Um, but, and my BMI, I believe is an embarrassing 49, um, maybe 50 at this point. So, um, as you can tell, that is, you know, extreme. So I desperately need to get the weight off. Um, anyway, I digress. So um, anyway, um, I've struggled with my weight since I was in my uh, mid-20s. And so um, it's not been something that I have been able to take off real easily. Uh, in 2016, no, I'm sorry, 2017, I decided I was going to get a breast reduction. And part of that requirement was to lose weight. And I did so on Weight Watchers. Uh, I lost, actually was able to lose I believe it was about 75 pounds, but um, I was motivated because I had, you know, to, had to do that for surgery. And I, you know, got down to, I believe 182, I think I was. And, you know, I was looking good and I was comfortable with my body and, and I thought I was on a roll. And then, you know, life happened and I gained it all back and then some. And I just, since then, have not been able to motivate myself to um, stick to a diet. I've tried and it just has not happened, apparently. So um, I have since then gotten some test, back, test results back, you know, that have kind of scared me. I'm, you know, I don't have any serious heart problems, serious, you know, diabetes. I'm not, you know, but I, I could get that way pretty easily. I had a ultrasound in my carotid arteries because I've been suffering from migraines and, um, they found, it said something about 
partial blockage, but my doctor looked at it and he said there wasn't anything there, but you know, it could potentially get bad and I don't want it to. Um, also, my blood sugars, when they do the fasting blood sugars, um, my A1C is good. If, if you don't know what an A1C is, that's where they take your blood sugars um, and average it out. I think it's over the last three months and then they come up with a number and it needs to be below five to be, I think it's five to be in the safe range. And mine's always good, but um, my fasting blood sugar can be a little bit elevated at times. And so I'm, I'm not considered borderline, uh, I'm not considered diabetic or pre-diabetic yet, but I definitely don't want to get to that point. Um, so, you know, those kind of things, when I see those things on test results, it scares me and I definitely want to get healthier. So um, that kind of prompted me to really take a serious look at this surgery. Um, that and me just not being motivated in order, it motivated to get the weight off with dieting and stuff like that. You know, I'll try it for a day or two. I'll try it for two weeks or three weeks. I'll get 15 pounds off or maybe not even 15 pounds, 10 or 12. And then, you know, I gain it all back. So I'm hoping that I can get motivated with this and, you know, do a medically supervised diet and, you know, and then get the surgery and make a lifestyle change for myself. So that being said, I talked to my insurance company just a few minutes ago before I started making this video. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna look down because I'm looking at notes. And like I said, I have to um, do several things for my insurance as I'm sure most of you who are in, in this process with me in the very beginning um, have to do as well. But um, with my new job through the hospital, I have to do six months of medically supervised weight loss slash diet slash exercise counseling. And I'm actually pretty excited about this because I've, you know, kind of done the Weight Watchers thing like I had mentioned before for my breast reduction surgery and I was successful on that, you know, but it's, you know, you're on your own with that. You have the app and you don't have anybody to talk to. Well, you do through the app, but you know, you're not face to face with someone. And so I'm kind of excited about this to see um, a face-to-face -face person where I can go in and ask questions about, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing as far as my um, food intake or different ideas for, you know, changing up my diet and things like that. So I'm actually going to meet with a dietitian and, um, you know, get their ideas and input and things like that. And then the exercise counseling, I really don't know exactly what that entails. I, you know, educated guess is that they you know, kind of coach you on um, your body type and um, your stamina at this point in your journey and, you know, in the very beginning, I guess, at this point, and um, then they tailor your exercise program regimen to your body and to what you're able to do. So, you know, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm excited to, to get those face-to-face -face meetings with these people and, um, you know, get some advice on what I'm supposed to be doing and what to make myself healthier um, now and before I get surgery. So um, that's something I'm really looking forward to. And then um, I also have to do six nutrition classes. So I don't really know what the medically supervised diet, um, how that differs from the six nutrition classes, whether those are two different things or whether that's the same thing with a nutritionist, I'm not sure. So I'll find out more when I talk to my surgeon's office. I'm gonna make a separate call to them. Tomorrow they were closed by the time I was ready to make this video, so I couldn't call them today. And then I, of course, have to do the dreaded psych evaluation. And my insurance company requires at least three, maybe six, but she's hoping that with, um, the lady that I talked to was really nice. I liked her a lot. She was very helpful and answered all my questions. Um, she, said that they possibly would do three on me, maybe less, dependent upon um, what the doctor thought I needed. So there is a possibility of doing six. Most people don't have to do that many. I'm hoping that I can get away with doing three, but if I have to do the full six, you know, I'm, I'm fully accepting that and I will do whatever it takes to get this surgery approved and to make myself healthier. So anyway, um, those are, the things that I found out from my, from, I'm sorry, from my 
insurance company today. That's kind of where I am with my weight loss beginnings of the journey and what prompted me to to start this process. If you have any questions, comment below and I will start another video when I talk to my surgeon's office to see what else I should be doing at this point before, oh, I should mention that um, before I can make an appointment with my surgeon, I have to attend the um, new patient seminar. So that isn't until I think March 13th at noon of my time. I'm in central time zone. So um, I'm going to find out from my surgeon's office, you know, kind of what they recommend as far as um, kind of what a kind of what I should be doing as far as exercise and document documenting that so that it can go into my chart right away. And also, um, you know, kind of what kind of diet I should be going on, whether I should go back on Weight Watchers, whether I should try my fitness pal or whether I should just be jotting down everything that I eat and calorie intake on in a notebook as well. So I'm kind of going to kind of going to rely on them to tell me what the next steps are in between now and the weight loss seminar or new patient seminar and the first visit with the semin with the surgeon. So I will update you once I talk to them. Meanwhile, comment below as far as um, whether you guys have videos so I can start following you or if you have any questions for me and I can clarify anything that I've said, any advice that you have for me if you're further along in your journey, that would be great. And um, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Thanks and I'll talk to you later. Bye.